Hey guys, it's Taylor here, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna be doing a story time. Ooh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a story time about a crazy ex-boyfriend because I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see, and story time about crazy ex-boyfriend got the most votes. So, here we are. Also, ignore my super thick brows today. I was feeling a little adventurous. This was two and a half, three years ago. I was a senior in high school when this happened. And it was around like September. I need to make up names for people. So my crazy ex-boyfriend, his name will be Joe. Okay, Joe. And then the guy that I was dating at the time that this happened, his name will be Kevin. Let's just get all the Jonah fillers in here, why don't we? I dated Joe for like 10 months when I was a junior in high school. And then I was dating Kevin for like a month. Me and Joe, we didn't end on like awful terms. It ended like kind of abruptly, but whatever. One day, it was like a Saturday, I was with Kevin and we were going to his grandparents' house to have like a big family lunch and it was the first time I was meeting all of his family and I was so excited so I was going with him. On the way there I was getting phone calls from a blocked number and I didn't answer them at first because I was like I don't I don't really do that I don't I don't know if it's just me but I was getting these phone calls and they just kept coming and coming and coming so eventually I was like I'm just gonna answer it so when I answered it it was like a guy on the other line and he was like, is this Taylor? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I know where you are right now. I know you're with Kevin right now. He was basically threatening me. He was like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill him in front of you. Like, I'm gonna beat him up, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what the heck? So I hung up, I hang up really fast. And I turned to my boyfriend at the time and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy just told me he knows like where we are. And he told me that he's gonna kill us like I would that not scare you then he kept calling and calling so I didn't answer so then he started texting me I don't have any of the messages anymore because that was literally like three years ago and I was also like scared so I like deleted them they were basically saying like telling me like where I was going I don't know how this person knew where I was going because I didn't post it anywhere anywhere okay so he was like I know you're going here and I know that you're with Kevin and I'm gonna come and kill all of you I'm gonna come and I'm gonna stab him and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him and I was like what what I didn't answer I answered that text and I was like please leave me alone I don't know who you are I don't know what you want from me but please leave me alone I don't know you so they stopped texting me and calling me and I was so so scared so my boyfriend was like, it's okay, let's just go and eat dinner. So we go to his house and we eat dinner. And right after dinner was done, I got a phone call from that person again. I didn't answer it. I got like 10 more phone calls, didn't answer them. Then I got more texts saying, I'm on my way. I have a thing full of knives that I'm gonna choose from. Like, it got so scary. I was with my boyfriend and I was crying. I was like, I'm so scared. Like, I am so horrified so I this is when my dad was living here um and I called him because I didn't know what to do and I was like dad I literally don't know what to do I keep getting these phone calls I keep getting these texts and I was like telling him and then I gave him the phone number because I didn't know like the phone number that was texting me I didn't know who it was so I gave it to him and then he texted them and then saying like you gotta stop threatening my daughter blah 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 and then that person texted me again and they were like wow having your dad like fight your battles for you that's so low like and they just kept like go going on and on so I called my dad again and I was like they're not stopping so he was like call the police right now like call the police so I called the police and I was like look like all this is happening and they're like okay you have to come into the station so I had to leave my boyfriend's house with him he drove me thank goodness because I did not want to be alone he drove me back to my town which is like an hour and a half away and me, him, and my dad all went to the police station. We get to the police station and I'm telling the police officer what happened. So the guy's like, okay, I can track this number. Like, I, I'm gonna track it. He tracks the number and it takes like a half hour. 
and he comes back and he was like oh do you know this person and it was my boyfriend's full name and I, my ex-boyfriend's full name and I was like yep I know who that person is that's my ex-boyfriend and the officer was like is there any reason why he would be doing this and I was like I haven't talked to him in literally like five months so I don't know like our really he ended our relationship I didn't really fight back like I don't know what the deal is so the officer calls him and calls the number and his friend answered Joe wait was Joe my ex yeah right anyway called my ex's phone number and his friend answered and the cop was like this is the police like basically explaining and the guy starts apologizing like crazy he's like I'm so sorry you was only supposed to be a joke blah 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 and I was like how was how was that funny like how is that funny this went on for literally about six hours how is that funny please tell me the officer is like he wants to apologize to you it was his friend that I've never met in my life so I was like okay so the guy's like, look, I'm so sorry, like, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. And I was like, look, you don't threaten to kill someone. That's not, that's nothing to joke about. You don't threaten to come and kill someone and then kill someone's boyfriend. Like, you don't do that. And he was like, I know, like, I'm so sorry, like, we took this way too far. And I was like, yeah, you did. Like, you totally took this way too far. And I was like, whatever, I don't like I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Like, we're done here. The officer calls my ex because the friend was like, oh, like your ex told me to do this. Like, he told me, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, why? So then my ex gets on the phone and he was like, look, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, you're not. Like, if you were sorry, you wouldn't have done it. Like, you just you don't do that. So he just kept like apologizing and apologizing and I was like, I don't I don't forgive you, but whatever. And then my dad got on the phone with him and gave him an earful. He was screaming at him and I was like, Yes, dad, yes. So the cop was like, Do you wanna like press charges? And I was like, I I don't know, like I don't I don't know. I was like so scared. I didn't end up pressing charges because I like I don't know, I was like really, really scared that he would do it again. Which is like, that's not a world that I should be living in, that I am afraid to press charges on someone who was threatening to kill me. Right? Like that, I don't know. His mom calls me, okay? My ex's mom calls me and is like, my son would never do something like this. Like, you probably provoked him. Like, basically blaming me for him telling me he was gonna kill me. And I was like, yo, why, why would I do that? Like. Your son is not an angel, your son is an actual piece of garbage, okay? Literal garbage, okay? Like, I don't- I, defend him all you want, I know what happened, I know what he did, and you can defend him all you want, but you're in the wrong. Like, you are in this delusional mindset that your son is perfect, and he's far from it. No one's perfect, he's far from perfect. So that went on, then she called my mom, and it was like this whole big thing. Long story short, I- don't talk to them anymore obviously like I haven't talked to either of them in like three since this happened that is my crazy ex-boyfriend story <laughs> I have a lot more crazy ex-boyfriend stories um, if you want to hear me talk about them let me know and I'll totally do them because I like ranting about it I think it's fine I kind of want to do a Q&A because I feel like you guys don't really know anything about me so if you want to participate in the Q&A, you can leave me questions down below, or you can tweet me questions, or post them on Instagram. Um, everything is linked down below, so you can just kind of go like ask me stuff there. And yeah, a Q&A would be really, really cool. So any other video suggestions, just let me know, and I'll totally, totally, you know, do them, because why not? I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's like so crazy to think that somebody would actually do that and then think that what they did wasn't wrong like that's never not wrong never never all right don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it um and you know you can subscribe if you want to i'm not gonna make you but if you want to that would be like really awesome because then we can all be friends i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>